Hey guys, welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. And last time, we had a very eventful battle against Edgeworth. Holy crud, I'm scared. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Maya doesn't belong in that detention center. And it's up to me to set her free. Literally, because that is our job. Among other reasons why we're... Oh, the... The to be continued thing was right there. Why don't I just end the episode there? God, I'm so stupid. Anyways... <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue on and, I guess, start gathering new evidence. September 7th, 3 p.m. Detention Center. The visit. Wait, why are we back here? Oh! Well, hello there! I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a... <laughs> Dank? I guess that is a word. Um, place like this, it's really quite moving. Not. You stick me, lawyer. I hope you die. Well, I eventually will, as all people will, but you know, I'm... You come to laugh? Yeah, I'll have a fallen Miss May. No, not really. At least not your face. <laughs> but there's something I want to ask you. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Have you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go with the insults. Oh my god. <laughs> Please. You're scaring the security guard. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> so, what is it you wish to ask me, then? <sighs> For starters, how did you get so totally whacked? What? 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 <laughs> that is a good question. I would like to. How do you? How do you go from? I'm sorry. I mean, obviously, she doesn't have everything all together in her life because she's this crazy, but how does this even happen, dude? I guess the answer is Mr. What, or at least part of it is, about the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Mm. Can you tell me about him? Mm. Where is he? Come on, spit it out. No way. Oh, yay. Hmm. Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Uh... I, nothing comes to mind. Maybe that's a clue we'll get a little bit later. But let's bring up the wiretap. Why, why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Also, when? How is that possible? I'm kind of curious if the game's going to go into that. Aww. When you say it like that, it sounds so cool. So criminal. Um, tapping people's phone is a crime, Miss <laughs> Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I suppose you learned that in warrior school, huh? Queep. This woman is impossible to talk to. And that's coming from me. Talking to girls is already hard to... Okay, let's, um... Your attitude. Let's talk about... The... <laughs> Say, why are you so... Angry? Do you need a Snickers? I mean, you don't look like a bad... Phoenix! Come on! Looks ain't everything, brother. Like you're one to talk. Okay, whatever. Ah, uh, that does it. Bottom feeding, scrum sucking, Lyle. Oh, yeah. What the crud? Bottom. <laughs> that could be taken so many different ways. God. Uh, I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? Maybe a little bit of both. I mean, you are partly the reason she's incarcerated. The other part is because she's an idiot. Okay. Uh, I guess we're done here. You might want to get that Twitch looked out of that lady. That's that's not a good idea. Okay, maybe we should present some more info. Before plans, maybe her testimony. Can we talk about that? Hey, guess what? Actually, um, I hate your guts. So get lost. That's why I'm not going to cooperate. Thanks, I noticed. Well, there goes that. All right, let's uh, peace out, I guess. Where the crud else do we go? Wait, where the crud did that giant freaking painting go? I guess that's our next clue, September 7th, Grossberg Law Office. Yeah, looks like Grossberg's out for today. Again. Does this dude ever work? Like, come on. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. <gasps> he's got dirt. Well, we got... Wait, it's literally on his... There's... <laughs> Grossberg. Come on, you could have came into the office for at least 30 minutes to hide this very incriminating picture of this guy. What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. 
DL6 incident, exhibit A, DL6 incident, exhibit B? The crud? Let's take a look at these. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. That's, that's Mia and Maya's mom. It's got, dude, it looks just like her. How do I know that? I don't know. Maybe I'm drawing, maybe I'm just drawing conclusions, but I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo. And it might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. Okay. Call me crazy, but like... <laughs> she does look kind of like my, or Mia. I don't know. Maybe it's the face shape. But what about the other one? Oh, he is... <laughs> like, what the crud? Not a flattering picture of him. I photo lies on the desk. Maybe I should switch it with the one I took? Uh... Nah, let's leave it for now. I mean, that's kind of... No. On second thought, I better not. Okay. I, mean, I don't know which one's more valuable and which one's not, but... Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant, ugly photo here? Yeah, yeah. It was a painting of... A fisherman, I guess? Wasn't it? Cotton Eye Joe? It wasn't a very memorable painting, anyway. Okay, is that it? Yeah. I want to take this picture to Maya to confirm, but I guess we can only hold one at a time. Maybe let's head to the law offices? See if anything's new there. Okay, so we got that prompt. Looks like forensics is taking the day off. Detective Gumshoe was nowhere in sight. Probably for the best. The police really gave this place a workover. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. I suppose it can't hurt to take a look around, though. Yeah, we might be able to find something new. That the police don missed. Um, nope, not looking good. <laughs> There's not a lot here. Um, maybe try the photo against her? You again? <laughs> Can't you take a hint and stay gone? Hey, the only one, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, it's my fault now that you came back. That's a weird way to wash one nice thing. Shut your mouth. <sighs> you don't have spiky hair. You also have a spiky heart. That doesn't even make sense. What? This case is done. I'm shaving my head. <laughs> Phoenix, your hair is fine. Just... Whatever. Hey, take, look, take a look at this. <laughs> the way this evidence looks like... <laughs> look at this head I found! Huh! Any thoughts about this photograph? Does it make you laugh? Who that? Your mama? Don't make me run back there and get the other photo, lady. <sighs> it's like I've been wasting my time. Crap! Ugh! All right, what about this one, huh? Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times, I'm not telling you. Oh wait, not now I am. Uh, where did you? Aha, uh -huh. a reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? What? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No, that's that's not true. Um, nice try, Miss Cooperative. <laughs> don't you have proof that was him? <laughs> yeah, proof. Show me proof. We can just show the picture of the bellboy, and then we'll be good. Um, I'm so close. Uh, now what? Uh, is there any of these open? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This one changed. I think. Yeah. So let's press. About the man who stayed in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? I'm not telling. Look, he's being accused of murder. I don't think you want to be protecting him. Hmm. How would you have sold out the leap? Would you have sold out the Miss Faye to the cops? What the crud? Uh, uh no, but that's because she did literally nothing wrong. Oh, she's going to use that excuse against me. She... Dang it! Hmm. Maybe I had something to get her to talk. I don't... Ugh, crud, what is the... Is there anything else I have? Okay, none of these freaking work. I'm out of ideas. I hope that freaking I don't know. This is the only place I haven't gone to. Oh, thank God. I'm getting really stuck a lot of the time in this game. And that makes me feel incredibly stupid. Because I feel like this game is made for a younger audience. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Hey, buddy. Welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare so say myself. <laughs> oh, hey, man, what's up? <laughs> Glad you're the only bellboy in this entire hotel. Hey, um, sorry for putting you on the spot like that. 
Nothing personal, you know. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewaters rep, as the chillins say. A uh, well, uh, uh, rep? Is that all you care about? What? Yes! Our reputation would swell as the hotel with a murderer used a wiretap. <laughs> Very good for business. We can charge a premium for this room, of course. It'd be a great for business. A woman died. Ugh. You turd. Whoa, whoa! Miss May hasn't been charged with murder yet. I too will become famous. Oh my God! Wait, the bellboy who brought the murderer ice coffee. Why do I feel like we're both st stuck in the same bedroom? I this is screwed up. Why are you only thinking yourself? So, you are honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Got any justice? Because I'm going to look for some of that. Hey, buddy, have you seen this dude? He's kind of uggo. It's hard to make. <laughs> I'm sure someone in the fandom thinks he's attractive in a weird kind of way, but take a look at this! Huh? I'm right here, so you don't have to push it in my face. Uh, that's him, detective. I knew it. Because I watched the opening video. Whoa. Um, I'm the lawyer? Oh, I know that. <laughs> I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. Yeah, yeah, I played dang and run. All right. No, I don't. <laughs> Phoenix! I wonder if him and Makoto will be friends. Well, they can't even speak the same language, so probably god dang not, but... Without a doubt. That is the man who checked in Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit with swearing that it's him? And have a bye bye. This guy's way too excited about this. Yeah, um. Can't hurt, I guess. Well, sure, why not? Yes! Okay, this guy is. W not as weird as I am making him up. I've always wanted to write an affidavit. I always carry this pen around just in case. Where'd you get that? The floor. <laughs> From henceforth, I'll be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up, I got stuff to do. God, okay. We got the affidavit. Is that how you say it? I've never actually said that word in my life. Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. Yeah. <gasps> we can have more evidence. Whoa, that's sick. Can I, how do you check the, um, I wanna find that button, dang it. Oh, I guess I messed up. Sorry to press the matter, but are you sure this is him? Wait, I already, crap. Um, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> well, this is a tiny bit awkward, Phoenix, but you know. <laughs> anyway, we're good. Now where? Uh, is there anywhere else opened up? Well, maybe I should talk to him to see if he has anything. Oh, yeah, he totally does. About Miss May. Oh. Uh, sir, not to boast, but I know the moment I saw her. I can pick out the bad girls like nothing else. See, do it, I said. Bro, you gotta relax. I gotta relax. Oh my god. Do what? I, I, I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. For real. I wish sure that's tea in there. It could be milk. That's a that's an evil prank. Anyway, uh, you ever drinking hot milk? It's nasty. Uh, I want to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Uh, didn't we already go over that? He struck me as a real lady killer. Wink. <laughs> if you, if you'll pardon the expression, I knew it was the him. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are the same ilk. We both carry the scent of <sighs> danger. Okay, this guy is so full of himself. They, we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. Okay. <laughs> God, I thought he would be the. Valiant Knight to help us in this case. No, this guy's probably equally a weirdo. We have a photo of that bad. I'd be quite sure to identify him. We already did that. Shut your mouth, boy. Could you tell me about this hotel? <gasps> I'd be more than willing. And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I suppose we have it. We, I suppose I propose that we add a subtitle. You know, I'm not really in charge of that, but all right, I'll hear you out. A subtitle. Why? The Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? Sounds great. <laughs> Whatever floats your teeth. <laughs> Phoenix cracks me up, dude. All right. Um. Well, I guess we should go back to Miss May and be like, yeah, so... What do you gotta say about this? It's pretty darning information. Uh, describe the man who stayed with him. So, yeah. You're screwed, lady. Can you have a look at this? 
What's that? Oh, never woke. <laughs> the bellboy's affidavit. It tells us everything he saw. This is the man you checked in with. Who was most definitely this guy? C -c crap Now I'm getting somewhere. All right. Uh, ease her fears. Screw her. She's she helped somebody murder somebody, and she apparently doesn't even feel bad about it. Screw that. This is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb. If I need, that's an act. <laughs> if you don't talk. I'm taking this info to the press. <laughs> Even though he should have witnessed a murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. <laughs> Fine, I'll talk. You win, lawyer. Yeah, man, that felt good. <laughs> I know, right? It's great to be alive. Uh, poor Mia. Why are you pumping your fists in the air dramatically? Um. Uh, you saw that? Uh, you're right in front of me, how could I not? Uh, uh, anyway, tell me about the man you were with. Mm, that man, he's my boss. Red, white. <laughs> the president of the information gathering called Guama went blue corp. Red, white, and blue. Okay. Red. White. Blue. America. Why do you keep asking question marks? That's kind of weird. Okay. Information gathering. Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency if you were really stupid. Hmm. So this is a man that was with you the night of the mur- So that's- That gives him a motive. He wanted to get Mia and Ma Maya's mom out of the picture because she was competition. Dude! Starting to make sense. Holy crap. I'm I'm scared to talk. I wanna end up like her. What the Oh my god. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Uh just Google it. What the crud? Um Well, did she tell us or not? I guess I guess she did. Um Mr. Red White. At last, finally a lead on this guy. If April May could have done- wait, if April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take a- so- April May's just a pe- like a pawn in his game. That's screwed up! She's gonna go- Oh my god. Bill Boy's affidavit discarded. But that would have still been pretty helpful. Okay, um- do we have the location, or do we have to talk to her again? Uh, okay, I guess, I guess we can move there yet. Yeah, we got the location. All right, let's head it. Uh. Okay. This is the most ugly office I've ever been in, in the real world or outside of. Good God. September 7th, Blue Corp Inc. CEO's office. Like, straight up, he's got naked dudes holding up his debt. No, th that is their head. This is like an RPG final boss. What the frig? Okay, um. What's with the surreal decor? What? Wait, I don't think of a voice for him. Welcome. Please furnish me with the title of your. Perso personage? Personage? That ca that's him, right? What the. C uh, God, this sprite's so gross. <laughs> your name. What's your name? I was just. Inquirably, God, I can't tell if this is my like borderline dyslexia or this guy actually is just making up words. Holy crap! Asking the title that you go by. Uh, right, Phoenix, right? Inquirably, <laughs> uh, Mister Right, is it? Right, I say, yeah. Splendiferous. This guy's got a blue rupee on his chest. <laughs> what the crap? <laughs> I love the character designs. Oh my gosh. Perhaps I might have intimidated you with my giantesque vocabulary. Huh. Yeah, I guess him and Miss May are going at it. Uh, they're going steady. Or maybe not. What the crud? That'd be even more evil. Uh, what's the guy's problem? I don't, uh. I'm Rad White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know? Corporation expansion official. You might have heard of me. Maybe not. If you'd answer your problem, no. My business dealings bring me into contact with the late of the late. So I, 
so I'm basically employing a lot of elite gamers, you know. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the wordly challenge. Wordly? Word dilly? Wordly? Word dilly. Why is that so funny? Oh my god, what this? What a fruitcake! <laughs> Phoenix! <laughs> That's not PC at all. Let me guess. You're an attorney fresh out of law school, ain't you? That's the only explanation for why you'd come to meet me like this. Oh yeah, you know, let's play along. Yo, good idea, you know? What does he mean by that? Dude, Phoenix, screw it! His, his defenses are lowered, let's go in, you know? No matter. So, business you got. Wait, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yeah, this guy's an error against meters off the scale. Yeah, but uh, let's use that to our advantage, you know? Uh, we're going straight in? I don't like that idea. Let's just talk about Blue Corp first. I'm trying to like put myself in Phoenix's like spot, right? I want to jump straight to the, where were you on the night of the murder? He'd be like, get the heck out of my office, you know? What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? I'm curious. Do you guys sell stocks? Ah, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. <laughs> We're a company of the future, you might say. We are the future. But the future can never be here. It's always going to be the pri- ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Sell info. In just 10 years, I've built that business up in the grand office you see now. In case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color. Blue. I wasn't wondering that. I read why to Blue Corp by the founder and CEO. Named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue. Of I don't care, bruh. Fantabulistic, is it not? Whatever you say, boss. Alright, let's talk about your girlfriend. Or maybe not. If not, we're gonna have another talk, but, uh, Miss May is an employee of the Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secretaritist. Okay. What a shock. It was to hear that she did that. What an awful, terrible woman. I have nothing to do with her. What she has done? You mean the wiretap. Indeed. She is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather info for us at part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. No, 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 not at all. It is in... I don't know what are the made-up words and what aren't. God! It is ineffable <laughs> that she would do this. It sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into the scapegoat. What a jerk! God, I know it's like... Bro, they're both at fault. Which I agree, Miss May is not innocent here. And she definitely made a moral decision, or lack thereof, to be an accomplice. But dude, what a turd. He's not even taking a cat, like, take some response. I just won't beat this guy up. But we can't, we're a lawyer, not a boxer. At least we're not a boxer yet. I don't play all the games. I don't, anyway, on the night of the murder, where were you, where? Give me a second. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details, such as time and place. Heck, I don't even know where I am right now. <laughs> My motto is, don't worry. Be happy. Uh, still, Mr. White, that, that, that is a really cruddy motto. Uh, the Hotel Bull Boy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. Oh, wow. We might have to make a donation to that hotel, then. No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. You want me to speak? Put me on the witness stand. <laughs> Although I doubt you'll be able to do that. Why can't we do that? Hmm, he raises a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? Because of Edgeworth, bro! He's interfering! He should have seen the same thing as April May. <laughs> the police, the courts. To me, they're a mere toy. You got either some guts or lack of brain cells to say that to a lawyer. God, this guy is so delusional. Play things for my amusement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you like to explain that painting, maybe? Hey, there's something that's been bothering me. Yeah, the suit. Trust me, you can't afford it. But go on. That big painting on the wall over there. It's... I've seen it before. Yeah, where the crud you get it? You know, I've actually seen that painting before. 
Ow. Well, there's a lot of paintings out there, man. <laughs> Just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My, po my point is simple. Uh, rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? That's what you do with paintings, you dang it. You, you know what I mean! My Mr. Wrong was he? <laughs> right, actually. It appears you do not fully grasp your possession here. I ask again. Who the heck are you? Um, uh, a lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch, zippo, nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney. Grotty burglary. What? What? Huh? That's. Oh, I actually I said it wrong. He said it right. How? What? What? What the? Ow! Oof! Uh, 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 did you just? He he punched me! What? Oh my god! I'm about to <laughs> tag me in Phoenix. I'll get him, <laughs> Mr. Lawyer. Well, what will you do? Huh? Charge me with assault? Charge away. I welcome it. For it's you who'll be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my betting. So you say. We'll see about that. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. That's a world beyond your comprehension. Com compensate. Compensate. He used the wrong word. Ugh. I hate you. Came here from Grody Burgers. I presume. Mr. Grossberg. Yeah. And you must ask him, why is this painting hanging up here? Perhaps then I'll tell you. God, Mr. White's got his... You know, Mr. Grossberg has his fingers in this dude's pocket. That's why he wanted... Oh my God! Perhaps I'll explain how a man can live life purely for personal benefit. I'm so mad. Go now. Skedaddle. No, dude, skid... Skid... Oh, wait, he's... Every word he says I think is wrong. That's how stupid this guy is. And possibly a little bit of me, but there's nothing to discuss. All right, get to <laughs> I'm gonna put some ice on this and then give Mr. Grossberg a piece of my mind. God! Hey, Santa, what's up? Huh? Oh, I, I think he, I didn't notice him. He didn't, I don't think he noticed me standing there. And honestly, he kind of just blends in with his office. I don't think I would have noticed him either, but maybe I should clear my throat. Um. Yeah, make it over the top. Ah, <laughs> drop a Jehoshaphat! <laughs> oh, it's you. <laughs> Lord, why? Uh, what's wrong? You looked pensive. Like an old man at the end of his days. Phoenix, have some manners. <laughs> oh, I'm not senile. Yet. <laughs> I was just thinking about this old mess. Something really bothering him. That much is clear. Well, let's get to our job. You know, no, screw this guy. The other guy would be like, all right. Let's, you know, take it one step at a time. No, let's go for the kill. <laughs> like Patrick, the kill. So I paid Blue Corp a visit. <laughs> uh, I mean, I see. Pretty nice building, I hear. I've never been, but... Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit something. Has been bothering me. Oh. It's not like Miss Fowl. <laughs> What is it? What up with it, my boy? <laughs> my boy. You see, it's just that, uh... The big old painting. Why was it over there? Can you elaborate? Mr. Grossberg, sir, there was a giant painting hanging right there the other day. Was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with. But suddenly... It's gone. Well, I saw it. Today, actually. I was in the CEO's office of Blue Corp. How did you get in? Don't know, I don't worry about that. Red White's office, exactly. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. C connected? Like fraternal twins? Don't be silly. No, that's not what I meant. Uh, but I know what it is. Your lovers? <laughs> I mean... There's an age gap, but I don't think I can imagine it. Uh, he's selling you info. Maybe that's the connection. You're his client, aren't you? He's giving you information. What about now? You've been protecting him all along. You protected him because you need his services. Uh, not 
exactly. You gave him that painting in exchange for some valuable info. Didn't you? Utterly ridiculous. Me, his client? Never willingly deal with that man. Never! Hmm. Guess I got it wrong. Crud. Uh. No, do we have to go back? So I paid. Okay. Yeah, we do. We got pushed back. Crud. <laughs> I want to pick it so bad. <laughs> Screw it. Here we go. It's not something I can claim to understand. I mean, you know, I don't roll that way. Uh, but you and Mr. White are lovers, aren't you? <laughs> My boy! You sent that painting to him as a sign of us undying love. <laughs> My boy, please. You're letting your f fancies run away from you. No, I'm not. Where did you get these bizarre ideas? I am married. I have four kids. They all live in the North Pole. Hmm. I don't understand. I don't understand how you could. That's because I'm not. We're not. We're don't be ridiculous. Gosh. Enough. I swallow my pride and I'll tell you. Okay, thank God, because I was going to go on for it. Wait, did I pick the right thing? I knew it. They were lovers. <laughs> no, we are not. Wait, how did I hear your inner monologue? That's weird. <sighs> Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp's a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. Been paying them for 15 years now. Whoa. Wait, he told me he'd been... his business had been 10 years. This bro can't even keep a- that, that guy can't keep a straight story to save his life! Fifteen years? Well, because of the DL6 incident. As you might have guessed. The name of the back of the photographs. So that was the- That was the start of all this? The dump- mm, I'm so- I'm so legitimately angry. The bridge between, like, reality and fiction is being blurred, apparently, because these are 2D characters that I'm legitimately furious at. Uh. As you suspect, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. Why would it destroy me if I did? So it wasn't Miles at all. Crud, I guess I kind of had him wrong. I don't know, he's... I thought he was going to be the bad guy, but I don't think that's the case. But, so that's the connection. It's hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red White will be not imp on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. Even you. He knows what you did last summer, and I... You're on the naughty list, that's all I'm saying! Hey, what, um... He gives him an iron grip, is all I'm getting at, all right? He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, many, many beanie babies, also politicians! What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves, and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that, come on. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. Dude... Then, uh, where do we go? I don't know. Then what am I supposed to do? Came to see the trial? Yes, yes, I did. Something was bothering me last night, you see. Couldn't get a wink of sleep. Gee, I wonder why. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just me and sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly at the girl. Why are you suddenly southern? I thought you were from the north. Oh, uh, yeah, uh... I'm like, crap, I guess let's just go through all these. I asked before, but why did you refuse to request her? It's obvious, Phoenix, now. I think you have a right to know. All right, Mr. Wright. No, no, I'm sorry. It's just, I need more time to think about it, my boy. Ugh, come on, old man. It does seem troubled about something. At least he has a bit of a conscience, but I'm starting to have, fe I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. Uh, yeah, we know, but can you talk more about the incident? What's up with that? Yeah, DL6 is nothing more than the sword and code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I was so thin and oh my god. I received a request from a medium. A spirit medium. Crud. Her name was Misty Faye. They have the cutest names. I mean, uh, Faye. Indeed. She was Mia's mother. She'd been investigating murder at the bequest of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her fraud. This is what Maya was talking about. I did all I could for her. <laughs> I did clean her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remain unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. I wonder if they're going to bring that up again. Like, someone's backstory is going to be that murder. That would be neat. I would like that. But, uh, the reason for the blackmail. 
Why are you blackmailing over this, Mr. Grossberg? The L6 incident was top secret. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a psychic. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I told them. Oh, you're. You told White? What? He offered me riches. That's an embarrassment to me now. Oh my god. Bro, come on. Elite. Like. I don't get this. People like. Everybody's always going, oh, I'm going to make it big one day. I'm going to get all this money, you know. But if you don't even do it yourself, then what's the point? Ugh. Um, I hate this dude. <laughs> because I talked the police from box far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who told them. Of course, White heard about it and came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. <sighs> he screwed up. He got tempted. I mean, I'm not going <laughs> to... Throw him in the pits of Tartarus for that, but you know, uh, I see. Huh. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. It, if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something what she found. The papers. That's incriminating. Oh my god, Grossberg. I'm still ticked to you, but you just saved our butts. Holy crud, I'm going straight over. It's funny, look in this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I have to look around. Oh, but no! Mr. White would have took the papers. Maybe she made more copies. Alright, let's um let's check it out. Uh this fern. Is it mahogany? <laughs> Me's favorite potted plant. I have one just like that. Crazy. I guess I have to water it now. Uh, it's not that thing. It's not that hard. Mia's desk. Perfectly clean. As always. Just like her. <laughs> Wait, that's weird. Um, the only thing it's missing is Mia. God dang, man. Uh, oh, I already checked that. Like, I mean, I know what the author is doing. The beautiful, noble, senior secretary. Not literally a senior. That'd be weird, but gets killed and even if you're male or female or not even into chicks right you would be compelled to get revenge because an innocent woman is gonna die the writing in this game i don't know if it's just one dude or not holy crud i am legitimately impressed and so happy i finally played these games just like i'm, I'm a dissecting it it's so good uh, but the case is the chief you've ever worked on or fell idle here they're in all in alphabetical order Let's take a look. What should I look at? Uh, probably that. Um, T, U, I know W, white, W. Oh, the entire W section's missing. What the? Was it taken? Nah, Ugh, I mean, duh, but maybe she moved them somewhere else in anticipation of that. Wouldn't that be clever? Maybe, let's see, J through S, nothing much here. Now let's check the others. Uh, yeah, let's just skim through it. Ah, uh, well, no harm flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest part here is at the end is S. Suicide, ugh. She had a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. Oh, come on, don't tell me. There's writing on... There's writing on most of these in pencil. White. This is Mia's handwriting. I don't get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides? No way. White drove them all to... Oh my god. I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm. Let's find the most disturbing one. Newspaper clippings added to the court report. Okay. Crud, dude, that's actually huge. But what about what about the other ones? I don't think this painting is relevant, but I wanna Okay, it's an old movie poster. I mean this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. Oh, she's so precious! <laughs> I'll have to check it out one of these days. Yeah, maybe after the trial. We'll go see it with Maya, but Maybe this? Sky's blue. And so am I! Wait, that's not good. <laughs> There's that hotel right across the way. Crud. Um... Maybe we need to pick up the other photo? Wait, the other photo's gone! Crud, what do we do then? Do we go show this to... him? I don't know! Crud! Okay, I went to all the other ones, and now I realize that was really stupid. Let's try blue cor- Thank God. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I gotta ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself. 
but it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. You try my patience further. I fear a nasty accident may occur. Oh, wow, it's funny you mention that. Do I make myself clear? Transparent, okay. But still, we gotta bring this up. I'm gonna challenge you, turd, not to rock, paper, scissors, to lawyer battle or whatever we're calling it. This is the only clue that Mia left me. I better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. Eh, uh, I can read. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then one day, word leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how... I find this article in Mia's office. Miss M Mia? Huh? She had a file with the article like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. Ah, that's funny. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. You blackmailed him, and then he killed himself. Or worse, you killed him. Ugh. You, wait, wait, is that worse? I think it's equal, actually, but... You were blackmailing him! Blackmail? Not just him, either. You were threatening and con coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company's built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. More like, looks at camera, Mr. Wrong. <laughs> what is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, 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 I think not. Should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Uh, what? Secretary's office, hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Oh, come yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second. Mr. White. You're wrong. I'm gonna beat you. Yeah. Excuse me? What should, what should I should be doing now? He's going after you. Else what are you in sin- and <laughs> He actually said it right this time, but I'm gonna make him say it wrong. In Sunanting? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tap her phone. Then Mia was murdered, and all the documents about your mystery, you mysteriously disappeared. So the culprit would be... Ah, uh, I don't know, you tell me. Even a child could work it out, Mr. Wright. You did it! Nah. Secretary's office, oh crap. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. I'll do it myself personally. Oh my god! <laughs> Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. No, what the crud? Of course, sir. One moment, please. Wait, that you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello? Chief Prosecutor? Wait, is this... Is this Edgeworth? I don't know. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness. I would like to testify. But what? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quite a two. Wait, quite a two? What? I don't even know what the crud that is supposed to be. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. Looks dazed, and he could be violent. But what man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. What? Mr. White, this isn't another one of those. Chief prosecutor, I do not believe you are in position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? <laughs> Bro, if I was Phoenix, I'd probably be in trouble because I'd throw down this dude. But like, God, it's a good thing I'm not. <laughs> I think that you'd be screwed in this situation. Um, I'm telling you to send the police now. It's not my job, but all right. Uh, did I tell you, Mr. Wrong? You're a mere lawyer, as was Miss Mia. I thought I said Miss May, and I'm like, nah, she was your secretary. You're dumb as rocks. Uh, how dare you? I'll point the finger at you. You'll be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. 
No lawyer of any worth would offend you. I have friends in the local lawyer association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they'll make you even look competent. All right, that's a pretty sick burn. Uh, 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 I feel faint. Oh my god. Detective Gumshell, reporting. Sir. <laughs> uh, butts! Harry Butts! Get him! <laughs> R right, actually, Phoenix Wright. My friend's is Larry. Uh, oh yeah! Sorry, pal. Butts was that murderer, yeah? Detective Gumshell, I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. What? Huh? You sure? I don't, uh... Take this despicable human being into custody. You gotta be kidding me. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Just like that? No freaking way! September 8th. 3.37 p.m. Detention Center. Visitors were... What the... I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me. The prosecution will be on it, of course. Uh, Edgeworth, no! An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Wait, oh, Maya's here? Right? Mr. Wright? Yeah, what up? Wait. Oh, hey, Maya, kind of spaced out there. Great. They let you out of detention. Yeah. But not, but not, but now you're in here, so like, uh... At least I gotta see my beanie babies. <laughs> what do I keep saying? I got beanie babies on the brain. I don't know. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. <laughs> now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? No, what do you mean? I mean, uh... I explained what had happened to Maya. Yeah, it's not looking good. I don't believe it. Why is our pol political system so easily corrupt? What the god? Uh. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mom, my sister, and now you. This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me. Is there anything I can do? Um. <laughs> defend me in court. She's like. I don't actually know how old she is, but uh. <laughs> help me break out of here. <laughs> I'm just gonna say this. But it's a joke! I believe in the justice system, okay? Let's just get that shit right. Um, okay. Listen up. I want you to help me break out of here. Uh, you mean a jailbreak? Yeah, summon a bunch of zombies and ghosts to get distracted. I can't do that, dude. That's not what spirit mediums, uh... Tonight's our only chance. <laughs> All right, <laughs> she's going along with it! Uh, huh? I better get a hacksaw with, while the stores are still open. Uh, I need a rope ladder, too, and a getaway car. Can you drive? I don't have my license yet. Um... She's gone?! Wait, 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 wait. What, 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 come on! I'm kidding. It was a joke. Okay, ch chill out. But I appreciate the attitude. No way! Well, at least now I don't have to go shopping. Uh, no, really, I was just kidding. But thanks. I'm gonna know you're on my side. There really isn't anything you can do for me now. I can't just sit here and do nothing. I gotta give that guy a piece of my mind. Just a piece? I mean, I was thinking we do like the, you know, Gohan, Goku, Kamehameha thing. And, you know, we kind of just beat him like that. You guys get what I'm saying, right? No? Okay, whatever. Um, then come to the trial tomorrow. Okay, I was gonna do that anyways. I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Heck yeah. Dude, this is going this is going all over the place, man. Times may change. You know, with crime, it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. What fantasy universe is- Oh no, this is not based in reality, I think. Like a friend of mine told me that this is like a what-if scenario of like America. Yeah, so, okay. Almost all finish in a day. Most with a guilty verdict. Oh my god, it's like Japan. I never thought I would end up in a defendant's chair myself for this case. Crud. The true culprit appearing as the star witness. This is it. Tomorrow it's me or him. Right. And I refuse to lose to someone as illiterate as me! Let's do this.